Good evening. Welcome to this longest night service at St. John United Church of Christ in Collinsville, Illinois, where no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. I'm Reverend Jennifer Glover, and this service is held on December 21st each year because here in the Northern Hemisphere, it is the longest night of the year. Since the fall equinox, the nights longer than the day have been lengthening with each rotation of the earth. Tonight, when things are their darkest, we pause to remember that God's light drives out the darkness and the darkness can not overcome it. During this service, we will uplift some of the many reasons folks can feel troubled at this time of year. These holy days are full of emotion, hope, joy, peace, and love. And sometimes as wonderful as those feelings are, they evoke memories of loved ones lost, relationships ended or strained, or separations that are difficult to process, especially this year, in this season, those of us who feel emotional need to let it out and let it go so we can get to that place of joy at Christmas, the joy of welcoming the Christ child into our lives. And remember, if you wish to light a candle or have prayer with myself or Pastor Katie Jo, you are welcome to come by the church tonight at the West Portico anytime from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So let us gather in the protective shelter of God's healing love. In this moment, we are free to pour out our grief, to release our anger, to face our emptiness, to feel our hurt, and to know that through it all, God cares. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word became flesh and lived among us, full of grace and truth. In him was life, and that life was the light for humanity. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never been able to overcome it. Let us pray. God of love and understanding, we gather here this evening to confront our pain in the midst of the world's celebration. Help us know that you are present with us in all our moods, our feelings, and seasons. Grant us a taste of the hope, peace, joy, and love that you promise to all your people through the gift of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Amen.
Good news for the excluded from Luke chapter 14 verses 15 to 24. This story offers hope for those who have no one to invite them in. It reminds us that in God's divine order, in the kingdom of God, Jesus promised, no one is excluded. All are invited, all are included, all are welcome. Hear the good news from Luke. One of the dinner guests said to Jesus, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus said to him, Someone gave a great dinner and invited many. At the time for the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready now. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I bought a piece of land and I must go out and see it. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I've bought five yoke of oxen and I'm going to try them out. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have just been married and therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, Go out at once into the streets and lanes of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. And the slave said, Sir, what you ordered has been done, and there is still room. Then the master said to the slave, Go out into the roads and lanes and compel people to come in, so that my house may be filled. Let us pray. Lord our God, make your fellowship be known by all, including those who feel excluded. Amen. Good news for the grieving from Luke 6, 17 to 23. Our next passage reveals that Jesus was well aware of people's sorrows, yearnings, and suffering and that he offered a promise of something different in the midst of our grief. Good news comes to us from Luke's gospel. Jesus came down and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all of Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. They had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases, and those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out of him and healed all of them. Then he looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy, 
For surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, light of the world, bring some warmth and light to those who mourn, who hunger and thirst, and those who weep. Amen. Good news for the weary and the heavy laden. Matthew 11, 28 and 29. When burdens get piled on top of other burdens, the load can crush us. In his promise, Jesus says that there is another way to carry our burdens, by being yoked in labor with him. And Jesus said, come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Let us pray. Jesus, the light of the world, Jesus, our brother and friend, we don't ask you to shoulder our burdens for us, just that you help us to carry them so that we may carry on. Amen. Good news for the resentful from Hebrews 12, verses 14 and 15. The writer of Hebrews reminds us that despite our resentfulness, despite our resistance to forgive, we can act in ways that move us and those around us to peace and wholeness. Hear the word of God from Hebrews. Pursue peace with everyone and the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and through it many become defiled. Let us pray. Lord, our God, may healing come. Bless us with your wholeness and reconciliation. Amen. Your best, your heavenly. 
For the depressed and anxious, from Psalm 46. When anxiety overwhelms, when depression weighs us down, it can seem as if there is not sure footing. But this psalm reminds us that God is good and is faithfully with us no matter what troubles us. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the hearts of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Let us pray. Help us to be still, Holy One, and to know that you are God. Ease the burdens of our anxieties and depressions. Help us to know with our whole being that you are our refuge. Amen. Our final reminder of good news comes to us from Isaiah chapter 9. As we lift our hearts and prayers to God, we remember the promise of this season from the prophet Isaiah. No matter what darkness or sadness we feel, there has been, is now, and will always be light and love from God to show us our way home. Hear these words from the prophet. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken. For a child has been born to us, a son given to us. 
Authority rests on his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. People of God, followers of Jesus, seekers of the Holy Spirit, enter this time of holiness and celebration with the peace that surpasses all understanding, which is the peace of our God, creator, redeemer, sustainer. Amen. Jesus, I see. 